Hey guys, been getting a lot of questions about Warriors and Mop and uh, how they're doing. Uh, here's a bit of information. I hope you guys like, and subscribe, and hope you enjoy. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I've been getting a lot of questions regarding uh, Warriors, uh, what their standing is, and Mop, how they're doing. Um, what's uh, pretty much uh, if they're going to be viable, unlike in Cataclysm, where we're just completely squishy and we're just like trying to target, and if we can't get a kill, we die. Um, we are extremely viable now. We have a lot of utility. We have a lot of damage still. Our burst is great. We actually, Blizzard has actually given two shits about warriors now, and they've actually given us certain abilities so we can get out of immobilizations and snares. Um, I'm going to go over these right now. Now, first I'm going to start talking about the utility we have. Uh, first off, let's go into here. Um, we have Blazestorm, it's shit, it's not utility. It, yeah, you used to be able to Blazestorm out of smoke bombs and stuff, but you really don't have to worry about that too much anymore, seeing as rogues have to choose between prep or shadow step, and if you don't go shadow step, you're never going to get on a target as a rogue, so they're all going to go shadow step, it is what it is. Um, Shockwave, we all have Shockwave, it's no longer prot. Um, if anybody ever played African Turtle Cleave, they know how big Shockwave is. It's a really annoying ability, and it's really, it, it's amazing. It's an AoE stun every 20 seconds, and, and it does some pretty good damage. Dragon Roar. This is more of a damaging ability than it is a CC ability. It also uh, goes through all armor on the target. So it's like uh, popping the old school Colossal Smash with uh, Execute. Um, so it's pretty much a free Execute, minus all the armor. It does an insane amount of damage. Um, this is like for TSG. Shockwave's just insane control. We also have another Spell Reflect, and... and Aside from what we already have, we already have our normal spell reflects up every 25 seconds. We have to have the shield for the mass spell reflect. We don't have to have a shield for it. We can pop it whenever we want. It's up every one minute. Um, this goes on the whole team, so it's it's pretty game changing. Say uh, your healer's about to get cycloned or something, you pop that, their the their person gets cycloned. That that's just just a bit. Um, we also have an ability called safeguard that you can spec into that you'd probably use for melee cleaves. Um, it's where you run at a high speed towards a member, removing all movement impaired effects upon you. Um, that's pretty awesome, and it's up every 30 seconds, so pretty much it's your intervene turns into a way to remove snares and everything as well, and that's really good. Um, we also have Avatar. It's a 20 second freedom that cannot be dispelled because it's a physical ability. It's also a great damaging ability. Um, honestly, that's just straight up amazing. I don't know why you wouldn't take it. We also have ability called Stormbolt you can get that you can just it it doesn't take the place of heroic throw. It's a completely different ability. You can use it, you can stun somebody you can stun somebody for three seconds. It does three hundred percent weapon damage if they're DR stunned. Um it's it's a really good ability. So say you don't go into Avatar, you can Stormbolt the healer, then you can gag them right after, so it's a three seconds done to a three second silence. It's it's really good. <laughs> um, also, now let's that's pretty much the, the the utility about it. We also need to talk about this ability. They they got rid of a uh, retaliation, the ability where we can pop all these swords and every time someone hits us, we counter their attack. They got rid of that, and they gave us a much 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 better ability. They gave us a ability called Die by the Sword, increases your parry chance by 100% and reduces damage taken by 20%. So, as long as the melee is in front of you. They can't hit you. Um, the only thing that can hit you through this is casters, because it only reduces that damage by about 20%. Um, it's still completely worth it, and it, it, let's just say in duels, all you have to do is pop this against a rogue, and it's an automatic win. Um, against DKs, you're probably still going to lose, because their heal is a lot better than yours right now, especially with the uh, Razil the way it is. People just burst right through... Uh, Right through second win. Second win isn't as great as uh, as people believe. It's 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 good, but it's not as great. Um, we also can now glyph gag order. Gag order, as you see, is right here. Um, also, keep in mind that you can glyph uh, death from above. What this does is it makes your heroic leap uh, cooldown reduced by 15% or or 15 seconds. So it's only a 30 second cooldown. So this is amazing right here. Look at the four piece uh, bonus. It specifically says your heroic leap ability now also cancels all mobilization, all mobilizing and movement impaired effects. So that means every 30 seconds you can use heroic leap and get out of a mobilization or snare. Say uh, somebody's really training you really hard. Um, you pop heroic leap, boom, you, you're 100% movement speed, everything. Nobody can do shit to you. Um, 
it, it's great. Like warrior mo warrior mobility is very good. Our utility is very good. Our damage is good. Overall, warriors are going to be what's up. WLD, TSG, Kitty Cleave, KFC. You name the comp. Since the warriors, all this utility and everything, it, it's all going to be every single one. All of it's going to be viable. All of it. Um, that being said, a little bit of a uh, small information for anybody who's really into running uh, WLS or WLD. Thunderclap now also uh, reduces uh, damage by 10%. They, they got rid of the Moralize Shout and they just put it on Thunderclap, which is great. But what it also does is if, say, you're doing threes and all those three people get Thunderclapped, all those people have your bleeds. So that's just a whole other dot that you just spammed on everybody. Um, bleeds automatically stack with Mortal Strike. Um, ultimately, this is everything they've done to Warriors is amazing. It's really great. Our fear is now on a one-minute cooldown instead of a two-minute cooldown. And I'm pretty sure anybody who knows anything about the Warrior Fear knows that that's a big thing because it cannot be dispelled. Um, I really hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, if you have anything to add, if you want to ask me anything, if you want me to do anything uh, regarding Warriors, please uh, tell me. Also, please like, favorite, subscribe, and y'all take care. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Um, please also check out these two videos, and also remember that like, faving, and subscribing helps me out a lot, and it helps me put out content for you. Y'all take care.